Morning everybody, it's your self-proclaimed Blackpool Daddy YouTuber here and this video today is going to talk about motels and the do's and don'ts when booking a motel because I've had a few people interested and asked to be messages about how do you know what's a good hotel or motel when staying in America so here's my tips as I said in one of the previous videos I always find it better to stay on ones that are just away from the motorway because one, they're used by lorry drivers, so they're reasonably cheap and they're well maintained. The problem about staying in hotels in towns is they're a lot more expensive. I have to pan around, you can see where I am here. But a Super 8 at the moment, which is pretty standard for hotels off motorways. As I was saying, in town, they're, they're normally quite expensive, and what you get is you get people permanently staying there. So you get all the problems with that, you know, parties, loud noises, and all that kind of stuff. The ones that you uh, get on the side of motorways are just used by truck drivers. And you can generally tell if it's a good one, is if you come in about after five o'clock, and it's full of lorries and trucks and stuff like that that's a good indication that it's by truck drivers if it's not full of lorries and it looks a little bit run down don't bother just drive straight past it i would expect to pay this is for me my wife and my daughters the three adults so that's a double room so that's one room with two bed two double beds in it about $85 a night, which is approximately 60 quid. Now that generally includes breakfast. Uh, you have coffee in the room, you have a microwave, you have a little kitchenette, a bathroom obviously with a shower and stuff like that. But always when you go into reception, always ask to see the room first. If they don't want to show you the room, go somewhere else. There's plenty of places to go, so you don't have to settle for that. There's like loads, like you say, when you come off a normal motorway introduction, interchange, there's normally plenty of them. There's normally half a dozen at least. And so, and the other thing is, when there's quite a few about, it means there's good competition. So they have to up the game. If there's only one or two about, it means the prices tend to go up a little bit and the standard's not there. So my advice is simple. A few key pointers to think about. Just walking out in. I try to get out the uh, out of the sun here. There we go, I'm at a Super 8 at the moment. That's next door to a Comfort Inn. You saw us stayed in the Comfort Inn the other day. Now Comfort Inn are nice as well, but they're a little bit more expensive. They're probably about $120 a night where the uh, the eight is as I said about $85 a night you basically get the same you get a decent clean room it's a safe place and you get breakfast in the morning you know it's a bit more fancy uh, I personally don't do fancy so I'm quite happy with staying as a super eight or super sixes are quite good as well so either or are pretty good so the key points always stay on ones which are close to motorways even if i'm staying in a if i'm going to visit a main city or something like that if you're driving it's worth coming out 10 minutes staying in a uh, motel which is out of the city because it's obviously a lot more safer and then driving back in the next day you'll save a lot of money and you know it's a lot safer for obvious reasons it's not smack in the middle of the city you say you ex you, when you go to reception also have a look how clean the reception is so i'll just walk, try, walk past the reception here it's so it's so warm here it's about half past nine in the morning and so warm a complete contrast to what it's like in blackpool i've just watched peter's video a bit of a spoof of uh, steve's video the blackpool is open i love it pete i love it uh, but I saw the weather there is absolutely horrendous, but it's so hot here. So I'm just going to go to the front of reception 
And the other thing about uh, the ones on the side of motorways is the parking is free. So you don't have to pay for additional parking. Where if you stay in the city, in, even if it's Super 8 in the city, you genuinely have to pay for parking as well. So that could run to another $20. So there's the reception. So the general rule, that's where you have your breakfast. Most hotels will have swimming pools. Which is an added bonus if you're staying for a few days. Obviously, I don't tend to, tend to stay at a place more than a day. And when I say it costs about $85 a night, remember that's just to be able to stay for a single day. If you stay for multiple days or you're staying for a week, you'll probably get it down to about $70 a day. Because they obviously give you decent rates for the longer you stay. They say, I don't tend to, tend to stay that long. I tend to... Uh, go between motels. We're actually at a place called Hammond, which is in Louisiana. So I'll just show you the local alien. There it is. There's the local alien there. And the other good thing about staying at a hotel uh, next to a motorway is there's always places to eat. You'll always find your McDonald's, your KFCs, your Sonic the Hedgehog places and there's always somewhere to eat so you'll never go hungry in a place like this and waffle houses i love waffle houses there's a waffle house just over there you can see it in the background there we go and you say look at this it's, it's nice and clean there's karen loading up the car so we're just getting off so as a general rule, you have to vacate the properties at about 11 o'clock. So breakfast is normally between 7 and 10. It just consists of coffee, boiled eggs, bacon, you know, nothing, nothing massive. But what do you expect for 60 quid for three people for one night with parking? Uh, but the main thing is it's safe, it's clean and it's convenient. So that's my take anyway. If you've got any comments below on what you think about park, about uh, staying in motels in America, if you think I'm completely wrong, please put the comments below. Or if you don't like the Super 8 and you like different hotels, please let me know what are your favourite hotels when visiting America. Right, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll keep you up to date with what's going on. See you later.